Hi, I'm Angie, and today we're turning a German classic into our chocolate bonbons. So I'm really excited, and the German classic is called a Donauwelle. And in English, I would probably say something like Danube wave, Danube or Donau as in the river. And yeah, that's what we're going to make today as a filling. You will probably find this sheet cake on pretty much every birthday table um, in southwestern Germany, or at least where I grew up. Like, it is really a very, very common thing. The cake consists out of a chocolatey sponge, cherries, a vanilla cream kind of thing, and a chocolate glaze. So we will not do the chocolate glaze because um, our chocolate shells will be the chocolate glaze. But everything else we will make. This is rather, um, yeah, I would say an old school cake, but nonetheless, it's a really good cake and um, yeah, it reminds me a lot about my childhood and birthdays and celebrations. So yeah, let's give them a try. And by the way, we're going to make the cake and the bonbons. Um, and that's just because uh, we would have way too much ingredients for only the bonbons. So we will end up with a cake and bonbons. All right, let's start with the dough. We need 120 grams of flour, 60 grams of sugar, half a teaspoon of baking powder. And here I'm using an egg replacement, but you can also just use a one egg. Then we need 100 milliliter of milk or milk alternative. 60 grams of butter or butter alternative, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, and then we mix it very, very well. Here I have 150 grams of frozen cherries, and I'm just heating them up in the microwave and make sure to re remove all the excess juice. Now I add the dough into my pan. and stick the cherries on top. And this goes into the oven now for about 20-25 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit. This is done. Moving forward with the cream, with the middle part. So I'm, I'm making a vanilla jello just as instructed and I'm also adding a 60 grams of a butter or butter alternative. And mix it really well. And while our chocolate cake is still baking, uh, we can move forward with our chocolate bonbons. Um, so here I have prepared um, a magnetic mold. Um, if you want to learn more about it, I have a link in the description um, with a full video um, about pros, cons and how to use magnetic molds. Um, but here they are. So now, let's move a little bit closer. I have halved some cherries and this just goes down into the bottom. And now I'm going to pipe in the jello, but making sure to leave enough room for the cake later. Yeah, that's looking good. Um, so now we're just waiting until uh, the cake cools completely down and then we can, um, yeah, top uh, the pudding and then cap our chocolate marmax. Here's a piece of um, yeah, sponge I cut out. Um, it is quite dense, but I don't mind that. Um, yeah, I don't have a cookie cutter that would fit like the exact mold, so I'm like not entirely sure what I want to do. Um, I haven't thought that point through. Um, but yeah, the last time I was just like kind of crumbling it on top. Okay, that's way too much. Um, and I guess that's the same thing I will do this time as well. I will just make it work. and just crumbling the sponge on top. It might not look pretty right now, but I'm sure it'll taste good. Yeah, just make sure uh, that your sponge is really cooled down. I think this should be fine. Um, now I'm going to temper my chocolate and then we add the last layer. So the cake is cool enough and now we can add a layer of pudding. So I think I don't want to use the whole thing because I don't want uh, the pudding to overpower everything. So I will just do a thin layer. So I would say I used maybe two thirds of the whole mess. I need 100 grams of chocolate. And when it comes to chocolate, I don't care if it's a little bit more. And now I'm adding one tablespoon of coconut oil and mix it 
and this is our glaze for the cake. I want to create the waves on top of the cake. So I'm just taking a fork and make a wavy pattern and just hope it doesn't look hideous. It does. Oh well. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Probably not. Well, I'll leave it as that. <laughs> I think I should have uh, let the glaze set for a little bit um, before trying to add the, the waves. But well, now here we are. This is how it looks. And I uh, let this rest in the fridge now for two hours. And um, yeah, next thing is our bomb box. Here we go. Oh no. No, how did I do that? <laughs> Look at that. No. <sighs> Boy. I smashed like, two of those, like immediately. Okay, but the other ones look good, so let's set those aside. And um, I guess I'll just, <laughs> if this one here, I'll try. So I would say they taste really good. Um, I'm not so sure about the jello part. like. It doesn't taste like um, the white or the cream part in a regular uh, donut with it. So um, that's why I'm just a little bit like, um, it doesn't taste exactly like that, but I think it's the middle part. I think if you don't have in mind that um, this is supposed to be like something else, you'll be very happy with that. Think about a vanilla pudding with a chocolatey sponge and some cherries. I mean, this is really good on itself. So yeah, I would say um, they taste really, really nice. Um, just not exactly like the memories I have um, yeah, when I was a kid or at birthday or, so, or something. So yeah, g give them a try. They're, they're good. Approved. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, I have a photo of the cake somewhere here, how it turned out. Um, I have to say that uh, for the bonbons I don't really care, but for the cake I would have wanted the, the pudding, like the middle layer, to be set way more firm. So I don't really like that in a cake because it's oozing out, out everywhere and it's just a little bit of a mess. Um, I'm still going to eat it because it still tastes good, uh, but next time I would probably um, yeah, either make the pudding from scratch or maybe use something completely different um, as a middle layer because I think the almond milk in the jello uh, didn't set properly. It also says it on the back that it might not uh, firm up with soy milk. So I think that was the issue. But well, here we are. And yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at chocolatespiel. And yeah, if you need any equipment, I have a whole list down in the description below as well. So yeah, have a good one. Bye.